Hey, y'all remember that guy that was popping up on your FYP just talking about music and talking about the lyrics and almost talking about them as if they were, he was spreading gossip, but really he was just going over the songs and whatever the writers write, wrote in the song and people just seemed to love it. And then one person was like, hey, why don't you tell us about your story and how you got here? And he was like, hmm, sure. So this one guy, LaWandre Williams, a.k.a. Classic Music, a.k.a. I'm not going to talk about myself in third person because I feel like that's a little bit too Hollywood for someone from Fayetteville, North Carolina, which I am. So I'll refer to myself as I going on through speaking about it in first person from this moment on. So yes, I was trying to make my name on TikTok and pretty much just on social media. I feel like that's kind of where God's leading me because I feel like I'm building a foundation for something great. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to just trust God, trust the sermon and keep this thing pushing. Right, right. So I used to do one video on TikTok a day and you know, it was cool. You know, I was getting some numbers and then I was like, you know what? What if I try two videos on TikTok a day to try to build myself up? And then one of the times when I had an idea to do this, one of my ideas ideas was to talk about this song I just got done listening to and it was called What Happened by T.I. Now if you don't know this song it's when T.I. gets unalive he goes to God and he's like yo why you get these people to come send me out of here and he's like nah that wasn't me that was Satan that did that and that's when T.I. gets a click of angels on bulletproof wings and he's like yo Lucifer about to get hit with this and then he goes to hell and then he ends up waking up and realizes it was just a dream. Now that we all caught up on that, I was like, man, this is amazing that people are really loving this. People are digging this. They're sending in requests. They're like, you should do this song or that song. And I was like, cool. So then I did Trial Time by Mr. Big. And that started blowing up. And I'm like, wow, people are really enjoying this. But like I said, I'm a music lover. Even though I love rap and hip hop and it will always be my heart, the number uh, that's going to be the number one thing. I also love other stuff. So I decided to do country music. And even that started blowing up and getting numbers. And I'm like, this is amazing. People are tuning in. I'm getting likes. I'm getting comments. Comments. People are asking how I'm doing this and not just freaking love that I can make a living off of something Well trying to make a living off of something that I do normally because that's just how much I love music Let me hurry up because it's getting really windy out here and I don't know what's going on So at the end of the day, I want to say I appreciate everyone who's rocking with me and been on this journey thus far I started this year with 7,000 followers and now I have 50,000 followers, which is freaking crazy to me Hopefully I can get more before TikTok shuts down and like I said, I love you guys because I wouldn't be able to do this or be able to make these numbers without you guys. So God willing, this is only the beginning of the journey. And like I said, I'm scary and it's windy. And yeah, peace. Love you.